Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the vlog. My name is Vic Barry. I work as a creative video director and editor, and in this channel, we talk all things creative and tech. So the GoPro Hero 8 Black has just been announced, but should you get the GoPro Hero 8 Black, or should you just go, hang on, I'm gonna get the cheaper GoPro Hero 7 Black. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through the five big differences that I feel are substantial between the 8 and the 7, and then I've got some really good food for thought that might help you make a decision on what camera you should buy. First big difference is Hypersmooth 2.0. So this is a stabilization that was introduced firstly in the GoPro Hero 7 Black. It's incredible. The second iteration of Hypersmooth is amazing. What they've got out of an algorithm here is genuinely mind blowing. We're talking super incredibly stabilized footage. It's amazing. Next big difference is the bit rate. So at standard, the GoPro records at 78 to kind of 80 megabits per second, which is okay, it's respectable. There is now a high bit rate option to record in a 100 megabits per second in 2.7K and 4K. So if you don't know what bit rate is, basically the higher the bit rate, the higher that number, the more detail the camera can actually record and see. So if you have a detailed scene like a forest or anything like that, the higher the bit rate, the better. It's not going to get muddied and it's not going to get soft and lost. It's going to retain all of those details. In a minute though, is that 100 megabits per second enough? We'll get into that, but another big difference with the GoPro Hero 8 Black over the 7 is the feet. Fingers go, up, not, I think GoPro called them fingers. So you no longer need a cage for the GoPro Hero 8 Black to attach the camera to any kind of GoPro mounts that you might have. There's two little feet down here and they fold out and then you can attach the camera directly to any of those mounts. That's a substantial difference that probably should have been in GoPros a long time ago. But anyway, one of the biggest differences, and this is probably the most substantial difference physically to the GoPro Hero 8 versus the 7, these are these GoPro mods. You've got a media mod, a display mod and a light mod. Light mod is fair enough that works independently, it's rechargeable battery gives you about six hours of light. Then there's a flip up screen, which is rechargeable. The flip up screen needs the media mod. The media mod attaches to the GoPro itself. It's like a kind of a glorified cage. It's got a shotgun mic on the side. It's also got a HDMI out and it's got a mic port in so you can plug in a standard 3.5 mil mic socket cable into the GoPro and attach your mic that way. So these are expensive options. The media is 80, 80 bucks. The screen is 80 bucks. I think the light is about 40 or something like that. Anyway. Huge, huge, huge difference. And then the final difference, and this is a real, real game changer, depending on what you're shooting with the GoPro. For anyone will know, you know what GoPro footage looks like. It's kind of got that distorted look. Any wide angle lens is always going to distort to some degree because the lens is wide. The lens on the GoPro is so wide, it's always going to have that kind of fisheye look. Now there's a linear mode and for the first time ever in the GoPro, this is available in 4K 30, 4K 60, it's available in all resolutions. And that linear mode allows you to shoot in linear mode and not have that distorted. Everybody's okay, nobody's died, okay, anyway. It allows you to shoot in a linear mode, which is no distortion and it crops in a little bit, but either way, it's a huge option, especially if you like to vlog. They're the big differences. Now, some food for thought. <music> GoPro Hero 7 Black. That has got the exact same chip that's in the Hero 8 Black. It's got the GP1 chip. They both shoot at the same resolution. They got 4K 60, 4K 30, 2.7K 120, all of those good things. There is no difference there whatsoever. So the, the guts of the camera are essentially the same, right? Hypersmooth on the Hero 7 Black is insanely good. I've had so many good experiences with this. When this came out last year on the GoPro Hero 7 Black, it was called a gimbal killer, and it still is a gimbal killer. It is amazing. It's not just some marketing gimmick. It genuinely is phenomenally good. The lens in the Hero 7 Black is a lot more protected than the GoPro Hero 8, and if this cracks, it's an easy enough fix to twist off and put on a new lens. You don't have that luxury on the Hero 8 because you have to be a little bit more concerned about the Hero 8. Obviously there's like tempered glass screen protectors and there'll be cases and all that kind of stuff, but you've got to keep that in mind. There's a little bit more durability on the lens on the GoPro Hero 7 Black. So if you're doing kind of basic camera stuff, if you're doing vlog stuff, if you're doing talking head stuff, if you're doing kind of action-y sports stuff, Will Hypersmooth 2.0 make much of a difference to you? Chances are it probably won't, but forget about making the difference to you. 
Maybe it might make a difference if you're like hanging 100 feet in the air in the back of a bike. Maybe. But think about this. Will Hypersmooth 2.0 make a huge difference to your audience? Will they be sitting there going, hmm, oh yes, that splendid Hypersmooth 2.0. That footage is incredibly smooth on this chap's trip to the shops. Chances are they're not, right? Nah, not going to happen. Will your audience be going, oh yeah, that was shot in 100 megabits per second. Ah oh, yeah, it's, it's way better. Oh, it's like night and day. It's, it's amazing. Oh. Is that really gonna happen? Will people really notice? Think about what your audience are watching your content on. Are they watching it on a big screen TV? Are they watching it? Chances are they're probably watching it on their phone or a tablet or a small screen. Will they really be going, oh, yeah, that should have been a high bit red anyway. Hmm, food for thought. By buying the Hero 7 Black, you're gonna save the bare bones of 100 bucks. But what about if you wanna plug a mic into the Hero 7 Black? You're gonna have to spend at least, like 40 to 50 bucks on the GoPro mic dongle, which has now been discontinued, which means it's gonna be harder to buy and it may get a bit more expensive. Then you're gonna to have to spend around another 50 bucks to get the mic. However, that still is cheaper than buying the GoPro Hero 8 Black and the media case or the media mod or whatever the hell they're calling it, right? It's still that little bit cheaper. Don't get me wrong, both cameras are absolutely amazing. They're incredible. For me, I'm gonna buy the GoPro Hero 8 Black I'm going to sell this, I guess, just because I, I like new tech, right? That's my vice. That's my thing. But, you know, neither of these cameras need to flip up screen. You hold this thing anywhere up, roughly pointed at your head. The GoPro lens is that white. It is going, you're going to be in shot. You don't need that flip up screen, right? Maybe you'd like, maybe it could be okay for framing, but the lens is so wide. And if you're shooting in 4K, you can room to kind of move the image around a little bit. So... You don't, yeah, you don't need that. Like these things are gimbal destroyers. Both of these are amazing. They really are gimbal killers. But think about your audience, right? Doesn't matter what kind of camera you have. Think about your audience. Think about your audience at the end of the day. Will the camera help you tell a better story? No, it won't. Will all of those Hypersmooth 2.0s and, and higher bit rates, even though it's not that much of a higher bit rate, it's, it's 20 megabits per second, which is, <sighs> The original Mavic shoots at 100 megabits per second and that footage can get a little bit muddy if the scene gets busy. So 100 megabits per second is not the be all to end all. Will your audience notice? Take a look at your YouTube analytics if you're a content creator. Are, is everybody watching your content on a phone? If they are, you're like, I, I'm not never going to show this on like a, a 55 inch TV. It's, it's not going to happen. So kind of think about that. Like I want the Hero 8 because of what I've explained. I don't need it because the GoPro Hero 7 Black is an incredibly capable camera. And just one more thing before we kind of pop up, pop, 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 pack up, wrap up. I hear people screaming in the comments going, there's no 4K 120, man, my life is over. And it's like, hang on, what are you shooting that requires 4K 120? Like a lot of people love to moan and love to knock something new because it didn't have what they thought it should have. So yeah, no 4K 120, but you have 2.7K 120, which is incredibly capable, 120 frames per second and 2.7K. Hello? There's a lot of people are moaning that it doesn't have this and it doesn't have that. What do you need it for? What do these people need all of these things for? That's what I ask myself. It doesn't have this, it doesn't have that. Well, what are you doing with it? And nobody's coming back with an answer, really. Hopefully, this video has helped you come to some kind of decision or idea about whether you should buy the GoPro Hero 8 Black or the GoPro Hero 7 Black. GoPros are amazing cameras. Both of these cameras are so capable. Um, if you want to dive into the comments, if you've got specific questions, I'll try and help you guys out. If I can, I'll try and respond to every single comment. So I hope you found this video useful. I'd really appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. That would be awesome if you stuck it out this long. Thank you so much. And um, we'll see you in the next episode of the vlog. And until then, as we always say here, this is so, so important, especially with World Mental Health Day coming up in, in just over a week. Don't stop fighting for yourself. <laughs> the Hero 7 Black, the lens, you can... Um, easily pop this off. No, you can't. Come off. Yeah. <sighs> we won't be doing that.